family, I, I say to you that our God is able to do what no other man can do. God is God, and he's God all by himself. The family has an outline of order of service in which we will follow. We will have a selection by Elder Keith Nolan, Comfort Words of Scripture, by Pastor Jeffrey Ross, the prayer, yours truly, Thank you for remarks and expression to many family friends, obituary, eulogy, and follow the program as printed. At this time, Brother Keith, no. I am free. just a blessing we can praise the Lord hallelujah she's free I am free praise the Lord I'm free I'm no longer No more chains holding me, my soul is resting, that's just a blessing, we can praise the Lord, we can praise the Lord, we can praise the Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. Pastor Trammell and to Myra Houston and Dean and to all the pastors and preachers that may be here this evening and uh, pastor this church and to this family and to Brother Joe and to the entire Smith and Gibson family and to Sister Annika, I must say that uh, I understand that you was a caregiver for her, and that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Anytime you get sick and you got somebody that's willing to try to calm and help meet your needs, even though they got their own personal needs to be met, and you try to see about them and run here, there, and yonder, that's a blessing. And we pray God blessings upon you, mm -hmm. Thank you for trying to see about your auntie in her time of sickness. Our scripture lesson this evening is coming, afternoon is coming from 23rd Psalms, Old Testament scripture. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou none in my head with all, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever, Psalm 33. Our New Testament scripture is coming from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that while I am, there he may be also. And whither I go, he know in the way he know, 
And Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I read to you the third, third Psalms in the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter, verse 1 through 6. May the Lord bless the hearers and readers of his holy and righteous word. Let us bow. Through the storm, through the rain, through our heartaches and through our pain, we come this afternoon, Lord, to say thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for all that you do and all that you've already done. Because I realize, Heavenly Father, at a time like this, we need a Savior. We ask now, Lord, that you would just touch this family in such a mighty way. And let them know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. And Lord, teach us to numb our days. Teach us to live so that when our day do come, we can hear you say, Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Lord, we thank you for the life of Sister Smith. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would just bless each and every one of us, that we may set our house in order, that we may look to the hills from whence all our help. We know that all our help comes from thee. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for making a way when there was no way. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being that light on a dark path. And Heavenly Father, we ask now that you would just deliver me from me, and not only me, Heavenly Father, but deliver us all, because I realize that we're all standing in the need of something. And I know, Heavenly Father, that you can, and you will supply all of our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. For it is in the blessed name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. At this time, do we have any remarks and Expression. The family has two minutes, please, from the families and friends. Is there anyone that would like to make remarks? No one, then we will. She looks good to clean all that up, go in the ground. And Nobody said nothing. Quite sure she got some friends out here yeah. and some family. But um, I just want to quickly say that uh, Polly and I, <laughs> we used to laugh and tease each other by having the same name, Polly. And she always told me, since I was Polly before you were, I said, yeah, you're right. But uh, Edwina was a good girl. She was herself. She didn't try to be nobody else but Edwina. She did things her own way, and she did things in her own time. When they integrated Hanley High School, she and I were one of the first ones, along with several others, to go over there, they just had a little hand for they sent over there in the beginning, back in 66 or 67, and um, they went cherry picking from family to family, and she was one of those they cherry picked to come to Hanley High School, and uh, we went over to Hanley, and we had our trial, we had our tribulations while we were there in the beginning because it was new. They didn't want us there no way, but Edwina was a smart, smart girl. She made the honor roll. And finally ended up graduating in 1970. At the time when they told her to close Randolph County Training School down in May of 1970, she was graduating in late 1970. So, went on to school, the Southern Union, and got a nursing degree. She didn't really want to do it. She, she liked being a nurse, but she didn't really want to be a nurse. 
But she, but she laughed at it. She went on, got her to Chris. 78 or 79, whenever it was. She started working over at Ross and Nurse Home, which is on healthcare now. Worked there many years. Um, at uh, Rosser and some years at Ronald Healthcare when it became Ronald Healthcare. Good nurse. She knew nurses. Inside out, upside down, over and under. She knew it. And I used to talk to her about trying to go ahead and go back to school and get a RN, but she didn't want it. She just lacked it what she wanted. She didn't want all that responsibility. She wanted to just come in, do what she had to do, and hit the road. <laughs> and that's what she did. She did it well. She came to work. She came clean. Back in those days, nurses wore little caps. And uh, you had a little cap on your head, and you have your dress on, and your nursing shoes, they were white as snow, and uh, she looked like a nurse and acted like a nurse. Now, you know, nurses, well, outfits now, you don't know what they are, you don't know if they're a nurse or who they are, the way some of them dress. But Polly was good at her trade. She had a personal problem that we all have, that we all had, and probably some of us still got right now today. Mm -hmm. But she minded her business, she didn't meddle in yours. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I honestly believe when her father died, it kind of set Polly back a little bit. Cause she was so, so used to having a relationship that she had with her father. And when he died, I think that kind of broke up a little bit. Polly had another sickness, don't nobody know about it, and I'm not going to say it. But she had another physical sickness that she discovered a long time ago. And uh, I think that kind of got her down a little bit as well. But God is good. Even through our trials, in our tribulations, in our ups, our downs, in our wrongness, and in our right, God still loves us all. I'm so glad God don't have no forgiveness first. He puts me on all our faults, and He see our needs. He saw Pilate's needs the other day. We called home. Now she don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about the pain. Don't have to worry about the suffering. Don't have to worry about the tears. Because I've seen them cry a many times. We were close friends. And uh, it's just good to know that in your days of trials, tribulation, you have somebody to kill. That's why I mentioned to Annika, God going to bless you. Where is Annika? Raise your hand. God going to bless you because you cared. You didn't have to do it. Joe wasn't able to do it. And that was his sister. He loved her. But he wasn't able to see by her like you were. Plus, you're a nurse too, right? God put people in the right place at the right time to do the right things. And he put you in her life at the right time in the right place to do the right thing to help Polly life ease out without suffering like she would have suffered if she hadn't had no one to see by her. God bless you. God bless this family. Keep you in my prayer. Amen. 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 You know, you know, was my cousin, but so before that Polly was like a big sister. Now, I can remember being a little boy, me and my brother, Polly, just about every other weekend would come get us. She'd take us fishing, go get ice cream, we'd go to the beach. I mean, it was always something with Polly, because Polly loved kids. And there's a lot of us out here right now that know exactly what I'm talking about. Because after I got too big and Polly.
finally like you, 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 you too old. She go get another group of kids. She do the same thing with them because Polly just she just loves kids. And I get a chance to talk to her from, from time to time and just have fun with her. But uh, Polly had a, a good heart and, and a good soul, and she meant well. And in general, she just loved people. Like I said, she was my cousin, but it was just so much more than that uh, to me. She was like a big sister. else. Polly, she lived her life. And you know, like from the obituary, said most people didn't know her name. I, I lived in the neighborhood, yo. We grew up together. And I didn't know her name. I didn't. All I ever known was Polly. But her name is Edwina. But uh, I'm so grateful and so thankful that God has blessed us to be able to come and being clean and neat and teak at what she did. She was always sharp. And I, I thank God for that. Because it takes a special person to be a nurse. You know, she can't anyone just be a nurse. And I believe she had that servant mentality. And that's what God sent his son to do, is to serve. A lot of times we want to be served too. Jesus came to serve. He came to serve fellow man. He came to serve us that we may not err on this journey. But we all do know that we sometimes err. Sometimes we fall short of the glory of God. But every time we fall down, our God, He picks us up. Every time we err on this journey, God, He'll open up a door that we can walk in and say, You are my child. I believe on this situation that what God told Pilate, you are my child. And on that day when that day came for her to go back home to be with the Lord, no doubt the Lord told her, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You hadn't done everything right. Well, guess what? None of us. I don't care how holy you may think you are. I don't care how righteous you may think you are. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But I thank God for his grace. Yeah. For his grace is sufficient. Yeah. His grace will lead us yeah. to the right road. Yes. There's only two roads. There's a wide road. There's a narrow road. Yeah. The wide road leads to destruction. Right. But the narrow road leads to eternal life. Yeah. And I believe also that all of us have been on the wide road. Yeah. All of us have done some things. Maybe don't nobody know, but you and the Lord. But yet and still, even when you was on that wide road, God was still watching over your soul. Yeah, yeah. So this afternoon, I just want to remind us that we have a choice. We have a choice to serve God, or we have a choice to serve the devil. Yes. Joshua, in his time, he had gotten old. He hadn't gotten feeble. Mm -hmm. He couldn't see like he wanted to see. He couldn't walk like he wanted to see. And so one day he called the children of Israel together. And he said, choose this day whom you will serve. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We got to learn to choose the right things. 
But in this world, there will be some ups and downs. There will be some trials and tribulation. But the Bible said in John 16, 33, it said, be of good cheer. I thank God that he's already overcome this world. Because I realized that one Friday, he went on an old rugged cross. One Friday, he made a choice to die for our sin. He hung between two thieves. He, he died on an old rugged cross. They put a thorn around his head. They put nails in his feet. They put nails in his hand. But you know what? That couldn't hold our Jesus down. Put him down in a barry tomb. Stayed down all night Friday. Put a rock on top of a rock. But early that Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. And I believe when he got up with all power, he gave us power to overcome this world. So I stopped by to tell us that Polly is in a better place. She's in a world, she's in a place now where it won't be no more crime. Annika, you don't have to go by there no more. No more heartaches, no more pain. She's in a better place. She's in a better hand with God. Because God can wipe the tears from our eyes. God can can change our attitude. God can change our walk. God can change our talk. And my brothers and sisters, it's your choice to make Jesus your choice. Joshua said, choose this day whom you're going to serve. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So my brothers and sisters, if you haven't made your choice, today is your day to tell God all about it. And I, I declare, if you tell God about it, God will come see about you. When she when, uh, she got feeble, when she got down, and she realized that her days were shortened, no doubt she spoke a word to the Lord. What I like about Jesus, he give us a chance, even though we were done wrong, even though we said things we shouldn't say, even though we went places we shouldn't have went, God still give us a chance. Gave us a chance just the other day. I believe that when her last breath, God said, come on, I got a place for you. I got a place where the wicked will cease from trouble. I got a place where the weary will be at rest. She's at rest now. And I say to this family, hold your heads up because God is still on the throne of mercy. I pray a blessing upon all of us because I realize it's a choice. We need to make our choice. And I, I pray that you make your choice with Jesus Christ. The lily of the valley, the bright and the morning star, the wheel in the middle of a wheel. The I am that I am, the alpha and the maker, the beginning and the end. If we make him our choice, we can't go wrong. For as much as it's pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of the world the soul of our deceased sister, we now commit our body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last days, when the deceased shall give up his dead, and those that are left will be caught up to be with the Lord. For I heard a voice that write, Blessed are the dead that dies in the Lord from henceforth, the rest from their labor. Let us bow. Eternal Father, we give you praise, we give you thanks. And now, Lord, we commend our spirit back to thee. For it is in the blessed name of Jesus that we do pray. Amen. Amen. This concludes the services for Miss Edwina Smith Gibson. On behalf of the family, we'd like to thank Reverend Trammell, Reverend Rawson, and our other members of the clergy who took time out of your schedule to be here with us today. We'd like to thank anyone who came out today and, uh, and joined the family on these homegoing services. Anyone who sent flowers or 
sent a card or brought food to the house or thought about the family in your prayers, you are appreciated. And on behalf of Fort Memorial Funeral Service, we'd like to thank the family. We'd like to thank you all for allowing us to serve you during your time of need. And it's become our tradition at Clark Memorial Funeral Service to leave something with the family, which is the word of God. In the form of the African American edition family heirloom Bible with a page inserted in memory. I hope y'all will cling to this Bible, gather around that Bible, and gather around each other in the days ahead. This concludes the services. Family may return to your cause after a brief fellowship. Thank you all.
Sou o 